Hi, I'm Ross Callaghan, and I've just finished making another model ship. This is the uh, tow rower. It's a steam ferry that uh, went across the harbour between the North Shore and Auckland City in New Zealand between 1925 and 1980. Tauroa has um, a lot of special memories for me because I used to go to school every day across from the North Shore to the city on this ferry and the other Devonport ferries that were going at the time. Sadly, the Tauroa is the only one of the steam-powered Devonport ferries that still remain. All the others are gone. But the uh, Tauroa is being restored by the Tauroa Preservation Society in Henderson at the moment. So that's great. The build took about five months. Very pleasant thing to do, especially uh, as it was winter time and we were in lockdown. So here's how the model of the Tauroa came out. Looking pretty good, I reckon. And the build was really based on photographs that um, are still around of the ship, dating back to when she was in operation. As with all my other model ships, I thought I'd make a video to show you the stages that were involved in making it. For this particular one, because it was a scratch build, there were lots of little problems along the way. So in the video, I'll explain what those problems were and how I overcame them. This was a really interesting and enjoyable build because it brought together memories of my past, lots of little challenges and a thoroughly enjoyable build as well. Fortunately, the Toroa Preservation Society have put these uh, old plans on the internet so it gives me an idea of the scale and I worked out that I needed to do it at a uh, 1 to 85 scale. Then it was a case of getting all my uh, equipment together, my uh, tools and my uh, plans, my wood that I was going to use and start the build. Keel is made out of plywood and the decks out of base wood. Put those two together and then the next phase was to build into the uh, deck uh, areas there where the engines are um, uh, housed. After that, get the frames ready and um, attach them to the bottom of the deck and to the keel uh, ready for planking. In my normal way, I, for the planking, I uh, use a soldering iron to bend the planks. It just makes the whole thing so much easier. All the way, I'm using ADOS contact ad adhesive to do the uh, gluing. So at this stage, the basics of the hull are now complete. And um, the planking's all done. So the next phase is lots of sanding and filling, painting. Decided not to, to do the uh, rear assembly here and the front assembly f in terms of the rudder and the uh, uh, propeller gear till the end. Next stage was lots of filling, trying to get the hull nice and smooth. Uh, filling and sanding, filling and sanding. And um, I'm getting pretty good at that now and uh, it, it certainly does come up nicely. Then a, a coat of paint. I find the best paint for uh, painting these models is uh, test pots uh, from the, uh, you know, the paint store. I do find the painting pretty difficult to get nice straight lines. You certainly can't do it um, by by hand so you can see there's a wooden strip there between the green and the and the black then to finish off the hull the last step was to uh, turn it over and um, do the decking fortunately I have a suitable timber for that and it certainly makes a lovely job once they're all um, glued onto the surface of the deck 
So the hull's now all ready for me to start work on the superstructure and um, I reckon it looks pretty good too. First of all I made the engine room and it's got a couple of toilets on the outside there and then the boiler room and similarly it's got uh, toilets on the outside and there's a smokers room there as well with separate uh, departments for ladies and gentlemen. Then it was on to making some cabins. Now the problem here is the curvature and so I uh, use cardboard and put uh, a couple of layers of cardboard and very difficult was building the seats uh, which go around the uh, cabin there but uh, came out pretty good in the end then built the other cabin and the basic superstructure of the uh, first deck there is getting close to being complete made a little um, engine and a boiler and some coal there to complete the uh, look in the engine room and boiler room and then the uh, next phase having got everything more or less ready on the deck was to build the sides and again the bendiness dictated that they had to be made out of uh, cardboard particularly difficult with making the rails going on top of the sides and the end result uh, looks pretty good to me. Well now the lower deck of the tow rower is all complete and uh, the final stages we're putting in some wee uh, stairs there and then um, for the toilets putting in all the different bits and pieces so this is what it looks like from above the cabins engine room and boiler room and the other cabin as well next step is to create the upper deck and so having um, made the deck and fitted it so that it um, is the right shape to suit the lower deck. Then it was on to making the cabins pretty well following the same process as before. Again making of the, the seats, uh, the ones that go around corners was pretty difficult. And this time there was the extra dimension of course of making the wheelhouses. But um, step by step the upper deck came together, then put on the sides until finally the upper deck was, was complete. Here's what it looks like. At this stage I decided to make the upper deck able to be taken off so that um, people could see the detail in the lower deck. So I put a wee uh, magnet there and made sure that everything lined, lined up. If it fits perfectly, there you are. And so here's what the Toro looks like now with its lower deck and upper deck. Next was to create the roof and the roofs of the two wheelhouses and then all of the bits and pieces that, that go on the roof. There are life rafts, there are lifeboats, uh, there's the uh, funnel and um, various vents as well. So here's what the roof looks like with all the parts in place. Next step was to make the screw and rudder assemblies for each end. Get them fitted. So we're now getting to the end of the build for the tow rower. Putting on all the final little bits and pieces, the navigation lights, safety chains, 
doing a final check that all the painting and um, everything is as best it can be. So the uh, model of the Tauroa is now complete and um, the last part of the build was just putting on all the various fine details, the name, life rafts and so on and the end result is I reckon a pretty fantastic model. I'll just show you what it's like as we take the top deck off. Comes off like that. And then you can see inside. And it's all designed so it will just fit perfectly and come back together again. So there you are, the Devonport Steam Ferry the tow rower. This is Ross Callaghan and I hope you've enjoyed another one of my model ship building videos.